Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today we're not going to be at the normal workbench because I made a new one. And this is this is a the new bench I made for rockets for the most part, and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Is this rocket right here? Today we're going to be doing the first test fire of the Da Vinci engine. Um, I've overviewed it in a previous video or lots of previous videos, so you can go back and look at those if you want more specifics. But today we're going to be doing a one and a half grain test. Um, we've cooked up these one and a half grains here that are a formulation which I'll detail in just a moment. And basically we're just going to be loading them up into this thing, showing how it all goes together, and then hopefully firing them. But uh, first I will uh, talk about how we uh, make our fuel here. Uh, this particular formulation is a um, bit of a, we are calling it a the Redneck APCP. Uh, it's our first, um, or my first uh, ammonium perchlorate, perchlorate based propellant that I've ever done. Um, it's a bit different from the normal. The normal uses a HDBB as its um, binder, obviously. This one uses silicone as its binder because they're both rubbers and honestly it's close enough because performance difference isn't that much use a silicone and then the standard aluminum powder and ammonium perchlorate I will put the um, actual percentages in the video description but that's the whole the whole uh, recipe right there basically it all just gets mixed up in a bowl. There's nothing uh, difficult or complex about the cooking process. And then we cast it, cast it into these molds here. These are a couple different sizes. This is the mold I made for this engine with a ID of 1.93 inches. And that yields a grain about this big. I have um, some paper wrapped around it as an inhibitor so we don't burn through the casing. And it all fits together pretty pretty snugly, pretty nice. So the way this is all going to go together when we fire it is this is the new bulkhead, which I don't think I've shown yet. Um, I just recently machined it. What normally happens when you have a fully loaded motor is the bulkhead slides up, and as you can see, there's this ring that I welded in the top of the engine here. And it is undercut like that, just a ring welded on the top. So pretty simple, It, the bulkhead just slides up and rests up, rests up against it like that. That's what holds it in place. The ceiling is done by the two O-rings, and then obviously the nozzle goes on the other end. But we are not doing a full test. We have one and a half grains. This is not even close to a full grain, a full uh, four grain test, which is going to be the, the full length of the motor. We just want to see if these will burn nicely. We're testing burn characteristics, and we're going to see if everything holds together and seals well. This is kind of just a low thrust, low pressure test of the engine. So what, how this is going to work then, since it's not a full, the full um, load, is obviously the bulkhead will go in first, as it does. And it's a nice tight fit, as it should be. So what will happen is we'll load up our grains. I mean, I'll, I'll just load them in right now. Okay, good enough for now. Now, of course, when it's all loaded in, even when the nozzle's in, the bulkhead's just gonna kinda be floating down there, not really, uh, resting on anything and obviously that would be bad if we lit it because it would shoot up like a cannon and run into this and who knows what happens next but the nice thing about this motor is what we can do is basically and this is just for an example this is not actually the pieces we're going to be using we can put something like this down inside it like that 
And then before we load in the whole rest of it, we'll put in a little plate, a little plug that rests against the ring, just like the bulkhead would. And then the, this stick or whatever can bump up against that, and the bulkhead in turn bumps up against that. So really, all this is doing is providing so, something to hold the bulkhead in place. The sealing is still being done by the bulkhead itself, but this is just providing a wall to hold it all together. Oops, there goes one of the grains. So that we can essentially load any amount of fuel we want into the motor and still be able to do a proper test with it. I've just made up this uh, quick igniter here. This is just a fuse with some epoxy with AP mixed in it and some nichrome wire to hook up to the, uh, the two leads, leads. But that's what we're going to use to light, light it up. All right, let's do it. Okay. Camera's rolling. Okay, arm. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh-oh. 